Morning, everybody. Jason Hollis Farms. Running down to the house to pick up CC. Come up here to the barn for a minute. We got stuff falling. Oh, I'm finna go see if we can get her a turkey. Maybe we'll have some luck this morning. We have been pooped on twice this morning. Walk 40 miles. It's awful. We'll get back to the barn and I'll tell y'all about it. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Hey, hey. Huh? 
Alright y'all, so made it back to the barn. Got PJ out for a minute. I am on the G7X today. Uh, a little clip this morning in the truck was on this G7X and what, what little bit of turkey hunting action we had was on the big cannon. But the rest of the day I'm going to be on the G7X. So y'all bear with me if I don't have some settings right. Or, well, I gotta check the battery too. I uh, got one on charge for sure. Oh, I'm gonna play with the, I hope I got the settings where I want it. I'll know when I edit it. So y'all bear with me. I think this is gonna be a, a super addition to the uh, Hollis Farms camera action. Like I said, I do wanna get a, I, I like the GoPro Osmo action type view because it's, it's big. Oh, um, the one thing I liked about the Osmo Action is it had a screen on the front that you could flip to where I could see myself and make sure I'm always in frame. This one's got it, but these type cameras are not quite as wide an angle, but I know it's a better camera. So I'm on, and it's a little big, like we're fixing, fixing to get on the tractor, fixing to start doing some spraying. I got to uh, get my spraying done, but I think overall, if I get used to this, this is going to be pretty good i got to get used to how to hold it and all that stuff i got a little stick on it now but one good thing about it it's pretty small if uh if i'm on the tractor now i want to take the uh stick that i'm handle or whatever i got on i can just stick it in my pocket because i usually got some kind of button down shirt on and it, it's small enough to do that so i'm gonna let pj run around for just a second feed her and then we fixing to get on the 5065 and uh put the big spray rig on it and spray spraying's kind of boring i know a lot of y'all like it but i'll show y'all kind of what we're doing and more than anything we're going to be testing this camera today i like it the little flip up screen i can look right into it and uh if i want to leave it running like on the osmo you almost had you did pretty sure if i remember right you had to kind of cut the record off flip the screen and turn it around but like this one right here i'll do it real quick all i got to do is turn y'all around and flip down and i can see pj so and then i turn it around i flip it up and there i am this is gonna be it's gonna be good it's just gonna take some getting used to used to and i'm pretty rough on stuff because we're always outside running around but like i said this i think this is gonna be a good addition we just got to figure out how we're gonna tote it and not tear it up and all that stuff i'm gonna play with pj just a little bit and then uh we're gonna get ready to spray one thing I guess I need to tell y'all about is our turkey hunt. Kyle had a tough time with Sissy. Uh, we got out of the truck and was fixing to start walking where we was going to listen to turkey gobble. He wasn't 100 yards down the road. And uh, I, there was no way to get around him right there. And uh, I said, let's just sit down the road. We'll call a little bit. And uh, I said, if he drops down in the road and takes a few steps comes to us so be it we'll let him if not we'll let him get down on the ground and we'll slip around him and try to call him up well he slipped he got down and gobbled away well my neighbor which drives through our place started logging the day before turkey season i've been aggravated since that and i hadn't run across him yet but oh uh, that's just not very respectful and um uh, anyway Long story short, we got around and the skidders and everything, they sounded like they was sitting in our turkey vest with us. You couldn't hear nothing. So we looped around, tried to see him. I don't know, we may have spooked him. I don't know, I don't know, I aggravated that. But anyway, come back up there in the hills and heard one and we looped all, this is the way turkey hunting usually goes. We looped all the way around and probably walked a mile and a half or so and uh, never said another word never that's turkey hunting but we still got some time oh i just i gotta figure out a way to pull it off for sissy since we got cody one but we'll keep working at it we ain't gonna quit all right got the spray rig hooked up i'm gonna put some water in it before i uh and test it and make sure nothing on the back end is stopped up so put a little water in it test it and then we'll put some chemical in it all right, got some water in it. Let's test her, test her out. I see some water coming out of the nozzles already. 
got the pizza yo on, make sure everything's good. Oh yeah, we ready to roll. Ready to roll. Alright, so I am using Clethodem 24DB and some crop oil today. I hope I got enough to get a good start. I think I do. Maybe everything will work right.
right, y'all, we got a lot of spraying done today. Oh, I'm gonna probably let this video end here. Been filming most everything today with the G7X and get this thing edited and see. The main thing I'm worried about is the exposure to make sure I got the lighting right. Sometimes when you look in the viewfinder, you think it is, but it ain't. So I'm gonna let this one go and Cody's got ball practice this afternoon. I may get my phone out or something and try to make a little video out of that if I, if I get the chance to and get my hands free enough to do it. But anyway, I'm gonna call it a day on the G7X. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.